What have you done, if anything, to try and get the authorities out of the way of people who want to privately build roads? ShireSociety.com Look at this, a bunch of people getting together to demand more money from the government. Red list bridges, and that number is growing exponentially. I probably should have said money for the government. Today, our equipment, all those expenses have continued to go up, but the New Hampshire Highway Fund has stayed the same. So it's here as well um, because it's important, and it's not. I say it's a can that gets bigger by the year, it becomes a business for me. But that's been raised since 1991. And as a result, we're starting to see now in, and they, they gave the same speech, and they 2012, over 1,600, over a third need major work. Our red list of bridges, if nothing happens, will go from 140 today to 175 in 2016, and over 200 by the year 2020. Uh, we, just a second, because I think it's important to put it in perspective. It takes, it takes about $50,000 to maintain a road. You're talking about largely the state problems here, but is there also, isn't there a problem with the federal transportation fund as well? Well, I, I, I think in terms of, of federal transportation funding, uh, you know, the, the last transportation bill was, was authorized this past year. Uh, what we'd seen, and it typically had been in about every five to six years, and the last bill got, got extended over the course of a couple of years. So it took a long time to, to, uh, for that bill to finally get passed. And so it's a short-term bill, bill that's going to expire uh, next year. But so, uh, finding uh, you can introduce Jim Jalber. I have a question for you, I, I guess. Uh, you. Yes, you're, you're advocating this bill, uh, which increases. Well, I started off wanting to speak about the trip report that, because it highlights why I'm advocating this bill, because there is an issue there. The bill increases funding for the roads, correct? Correct. And it's taxpayer funding, correct? And it's a user fee. If you're buying gas, right. you'd be paying more. We all love the roads, but what have you done, if anything, to try and get the authorities out of the way of people who want to privately build roads? You mean private-public partnerships? Is I'll, I'll answer that. Seven, well, seven, seven, Seventy percent of all money okay. that comes into DOT, seventy percent of all money that comes into DOT, goes directly through the hands of the department into the private sector's hands. The state doesn't build the roads, the private sector builds the roads. We raise the money and the private sector builds the roads. But who's your competition? You and why competition? is there none? Do you mean who uh, is building the roads? Why do you have to have a monopoly on building them and why do you stop people from building them privately in well, some I cases? All our, all our contracts go out to bid. So uh, I think as David said, they go out to bid, they're built by um, overwhelming majority by private companies. So if I was are, you, in, are you talking well, about Well, yeah, they're private contractors private working for the authorities, but... Partnerships building new roads? Not exactly. Them? I'm saying if I wanted to build a road, if I had a company that was capable of doing it, you would kind of be in my way. I mean, wouldn't you? Well, where would you be building the road? On public right-of-way? That's the thing, is, is if it is a public right-of-way, you're going to stop me from building it, aren't you? Not necessarily so. I, it, it's not, not that simple. It's not that simple. It would be complicated. I have to go through a bunch of hoops. I, th I think we can talk more. We've had a study on public-private partnerships. I think DOT and I think the industry is here to um, can verify that most of the contracts go out in the private sector. Just with our plowing, it's almost 60-40 private uh, versus um, uh, public employees um, plowing our roads. So I'm, I'm, I'm pretty confident that when we're building roads, it's out there for the uh, private sector to bid on, and most of the construction is being done right now. Okay. Thanks for your time. You're welcome.
The old world is collapsing, and it's going to take its slave driver governments with it. But what will rise up in their place? In New Hampshire, the Shire Society has a plan, a thriving web forum, and a history of action. He didn't take long to come up with a plan. You can sign up right now at ShireSociety.com.